I just wanted to do a quick video of something that made me laugh at the weekend. In a previous blog post and in a presentation, I've used the analogy of Star Wars uh, to bring to life the example of how humans are very good at imagining a future world and then going to create it. So, for example, in the Star Wars films that was released in the late 70s, we've got things like flying cars. <laughs> We've got droids. With hey, Obi -Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. We've got jetpacks that some of the characters wear. Oh, they fly now! They fly now! They fly now! And we've got all of that technology as of now, and in, and in fact, it's increasing rapidly. Um, so, for example, companies like Gravity Industries, who have created the jetpack, a bit similar to like that that's worn by Boba Fett. We've got flying cars, uh, Jetson One are a company that are creating flying cars. But and also, I think the thing that's uh, really kind of a hot topic at the moment is the use of AI and robotics as well. So I spend a lot of my evenings watching YouTube videos on AI and robotics. Hmm, that's weird, that's weird. Um, and there are companies who have created the robot Amica that reminds me a lot of the droid in Star Wars C-3PO. What are you talking about? <laughs> One of the things that really made me laugh uh, was one of the videos that I was watching on YouTube who showed a clip of um, another robotic company. And what they did is they gave it a task which seemed fairly straightforward, this task. They had a couple of coloured boxes and some different height stands. And the idea was that the robot had to put the right coloured box on the stand. But instead of giving it the full instructions on what to do, it actually gave it a cultural reference. And the cultural reference it gave was, take the box that's the color of Darth Vader's lightsaber and move it to the tallest tower in the front row. So obviously it had to work out what Darth Vader's color lightsaber was and then it picked the red box. Uh, so yeah, just something that made me laugh. The reason I said all of that and the reason why I use that example is because I said we all need to try and imagine a green, clean, healthy future so that we will go and create it. And I feel fairly comfortable living in a world that's going to have lots of technological revolution. And it'd be brilliant to use some of that technological innovation to help planet Earth back to being a thriving planet rich with biodiversity and alleviating some of the pressures that we see with, with climate change and global warming. What if I told you that robots could plant trees and drones could monitor endangered species? Welcome to the green tech-savvy utopia of tomorrow. In this visionary city, every rooftop is a garden and every wall breathes life, literally bursting with lush greenery. Here, towering skyscrapers are more than just steel and glass. They're ecosystems, supporting life from the ground up. Flying cars zip through the skies, but they're not just cool to watch. They run on clean energy, whisper quiet and emissions free, down on the streets, robots don't just walk dogs. They plant trees and manage waste, making sure our environmental footprint is as light as a digital footprint. And let's chat about drones for a second. They're not just filming your epic drone shots, they're keeping an eye on our planet's health, tracking wildlife and monitoring forest health. All this, once a figment of human imagination, is now a reality, because we dared to dream it. And then ingeniously built it. The future isn't just bright, it's green and buzzing with innovation. So, are you ready to step into this green, gleaming future? Because it's here and it's spectacular. Uh, so do let me know if you've got any thoughts um, and what excites you about the futuristic world.